setting up the LH-71 for segmented air compensation. The first thing you need to do is to actually know what and where you want to compensate the system. Put together a chart using your masters, what the reading is on the display, the difference, and then you have to convert it to metric. What we're looking at here is a one inch size. We were off a thousandth. Then we want to convert that to the air at point zero two five and the inch conversion for the is twenty five point four. Do that for all of the segments that you want to compensate. Before you start your compensation, go back and make sure that these repeat themselves at least two or three times. You can only get into the segmented air compensation on the power up cycle. After you've completed the power up cycle, hold in the system or the setup key and it will let you toggle through your different options. We want to set it up for a general purpose readout. You hit the enter key twice. We want to set it up for US. Hit the enter key twice. We'll just keep the signal resolution. Hit it twice. Display resolution, input changes, scaling, air set is the feature we want to work with. We want to now step through the features under the air set option. Right there, segmented, air off, linear, and we go back to segmented. Hit the enter key again, and we've entered in our option. We want to scroll through the values that we've already put in. Here's number one. We go to our chart that we made, 25.4. Okay, there's the compensation value that we wanted. Here's position two, 50.8. Compensation value of 025. Three was 76.2. Compensation value of 013, position 4, 101.6, we have a mistake, we go right over it, 101.6, enter. The compensation value for that is 051 enter and now we can just continue right down our list the next value is one two seven enter the compensation value for that is o one three enter our next compensation point is one five two four enter compensation value of o three eight enter the decimal point feature does not work because we're always entering it in as a metric number and the feature that you want to compensate for that Okay, we're done here. We're back to six. We can hit the reset key. It takes us out of that and it gets you right into the segmented point. It's looking for you to push the button on the back of the display or to move the scale over, to ref over the reference mark. 
it's saying here we're ready to reference it's blinking one more time this is the reference is blinking and now as we go over it starts counting so we'll come back to our original point you can set your zero and you're going to compensate those amounts that you entered in for all of those linear distances if you would want to compensate a minus amount back when we entered in the dimension you would enter in just a minus 013 Hold it in for six seconds. Set up. Toggles you through all of the options. Hit each the button twice. Cycles you right up to air set. Let's go pick our segmented air compensation again. Here is all the numbers that we put in. You can toggle through them all by hitting just the enter key. Let's put in a minus compensated amount, which would be two O three two hundred enter and now we want to enter in the compensated amount at seven six let's change that to a minus enter so that's how you would enter in a minus compensated amount again to save your stuff to save your points and exit the enter key is the last one that we were working with and reference